welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing, I'm coloring this wig. Today I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to be recreating this look that I've seen Slay by Jordan do. I love his channel. Like, it's just a bomb. I mean, he does looks and gives you enough detail and information that you can recreate the look. So today I'm going to be recreating this recent look he did. Um, ooh, my lips. Um, it's like an ash blonde, uh, it was like an ash blonde to brown look. Um, he used a frontal, I have a closure here, but I don't feel like that's going to be any different because we're going to try to achieve the same exact look, if not close to it. So what I'm going to do here is start sectioning off my hair. And guys, I'm sorry for the way we are positioned right now. My GEX stand, um, broke. So... I'm having to use my like mobile stand to connect it to a flat surface so I can be able to record and show you guys. So right here, I'm just gonna start sectioning off. The products that I'm gonna use are my 30 developer. He used 40 and I thought I had got 40. Y'all, I am the worst at like going and get something. Like, I don't know if it's just me. If it's y'all, let me know, but and I had my son with me, and I was trying to watch him, make sure he didn't touch anything, keep his mask on, like all that. But I thought it was a 40, but it's a 10. So I'm hoping or thinking like doing math here that if I add my 10 to 30, then we can get 40. If not, you know, it's gonna lift regardless. And we're just gonna see how long it takes. Um, I'm using my BW2 developer. In his tutorial, he used Blonde Me, but um, because of everything going on, I don't have access to Sally's and the places that I would normally get the more professional products. So I have to go to my local beauty supply store. Um, and they don't have a lot of products that I would use or prefer to use. So I have to just work with what we got. So instead of the blind me, when he did the highlights, I'm just gonna have to use the BW2 developer. And what I'm thinking I may do to like up, up it or offset it, I have some, um, Oh my gosh, y'all, I can't think of the word. I have some toners. I have some toners um, from Light Ash or whatever. I can't think of the, the ones I have, but I may go in with those and lift the highlights to try to see if that'll help it. And I'm hoping that will offset everything and like make it still look the same. But guys, let's just go ahead and get into this video and I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve this look. guys so in our mixer bowl still got a little bit in here oh well it's just finished. so we're gonna go in with our Phew. I hate when it happens first of all this stuff is really strong okay so I'm gonna do because it's a lot of hair I'm gonna do at least it's just too much I'm gonna do three scoops because this is about 18 inches so yeah do three scoops can y'all see that? Cause that is like everywhere. Basically fill up the bottom. And I'm actually gonna, um, guys, please follow the measure. Please follow the measurements if you are first time using bleach. Um, because this is not my first time, I don't need to um, follow the measurements. I'm just eyeballing it.
All right, guys, so when you are bleaching the hair, you want to make sure you're parting between the hair to make sure that the areas that you don't see on top, which underneath the hair, is bleached as well. So that's what I'm doing here, going in between the cracks and just making sure all the areas of the hair are bleached. I'm also going to go in with my comb, as you see here, and comb the bleach through. You want to do that because you want to make sure that it's not a splotty application because you don't want two certain areas to be too bleached and certain areas not to be as bleached as the other. guys and for this step right here I'm going in and I'm um, applying the highlights at the top so what I'm doing is going in with the comb method where you just like basically loop throughout the hair to section out the desired area that you want to be highlighted and I'm going to be separating that hair using some aluminum foil and I'm going to apply the bleach in those areas and seal it and then I'm going to just watch it until it becomes the desired look once the highlights have been completed then I'm going to go back over the whole top hair and bleach it um, to lift the rest of the hair and then I'm going to come in and show you guys how I color it. All right, so here, like I stated before, um, once I got the highlights, I went back in and applied the bleach all over the top of the hair. And I'm just going back in and combing through because um, you just wanna make sure you keep working that bleach in and continue to apply more bleach as needed. The more bleach on there, the more it um, speeds up the process and it doesn't dry out the hair as fast when you, um, when there's not a lot of bleach on there because it helps the process as well as almost kind of like help the hair as well so you want to make sure that if there's any areas that are drying out or you can feel um that they're not enough bleach in certain areas to go back in and apply that but i'm just combing it through before i wash it out and start to applying the color
all right guys so for this look i'm going to explain to you guys here um with the revlon we're going to be going in with the ash dark brown um i think it will leave us a number 30 i'm using that on the bottom then on the top i'm going in with the um dark ash brown and well actually guys i'll take that back on the bottom i'm using the at the golden brown um and uh i went to the family dollar and they didn't have that the actual color you needed so i'm using this golden brown on the bottom and i actually used two boxes of color on the bottom because there were some areas that needed a little bit more and i was running out with that one bottle so i did use a golden brown at the bottom at the top i went in with the ash brown um, the light ash brown and I covered the whole top then for the roots I went in with a dark brown to kind of darken the area to give it a more of a natural tone And y'all, I was getting really messy with this dye, but I did have a towel at the, on the floor, so I am like, girl, you gonna mess up your floor? And I had a towel in there. I was prepared um, because I just, just because I didn't have my sand, I just had to prepare and be cautious about everything. But um, yes, I, one thing I will say about this tutorial is that I did not film the rest of the dyeing process. Um, because pretty much I just explained what colors would go where. Um, and I didn't film the styling part either. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this coloring tutorial. Um, if you do like more hair videos on my channel, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, please don't forget to like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to thank you guys so much for just being consistent with me. And just being patient with me throughout this process. Um... Yeah, I don't want to go to a whole spiel, but thank you guys so much. Um, and at the end of the video, you'll see the final look. But thank you guys again for watching. And as always, stay true and stay you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.